Now I'm recording. Okay, recording. Okay, so this question on uh, one of the aspects of the question was um, how do I disappear the world or when does the world disappear if God did not create it and it's not real? And I also wanted to talk about, you know, I am and or if there's any reference in spiritual literature to I am, what I what my uh, feeling is on what that means. And I do, I do teach, I cancel my belief in whatever it is. Uh, uh, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Or the other way, Course in Miracles, Lesson 14, God did not create it, it is not real. God did not create this world, it is not real. God did not create long COVID, it is not real. Uh, God, you know, God did not create uh, defects and so they're not real. So, so it, this is the whole thing of, and that is, you know, and I did actually um, meet a teacher of enlightenment who actually used the, not this one, but the observer practice. And I said, oh, I've, I've gotten to an observer behind me. And he said, well, what's, what, what's the you behind that observer? And the whole world disappeared in infinite white light and bliss and power beyond imagining, an infinite power. And all I describe it, it's like, imagine being in the middle of the sun could you see a shadow in the sun? If you were right in the middle of the sun and it was burning with so much light, could you see darkness? Could you see a me and a you? Could you see even color? It would all disappear because the intensity of light would be so phenomenal that uh, the whole world would disappear. Uh, in fact, the world couldn't exist in that place of infinite light. So I did actually experience that. And when I came back, I was in bliss and the world was a beautiful place. And then when I really came back into my ego, I, I saw all the contrast of the world, the duality of the world. So that's just one of my experiences. I also know from the cancelling of beliefs and God did not create it, that when I do do them for long enough, sometimes years, because uh, I was really trying to cancel my illnesses, kidney failure, gout, asthma, and within three to five years of just cancelling, it's not real. God did not create asthma, therefore it is not real. God did not create kidney failure and all the symptoms of kidney failure, therefore it is not real. As I did that over and over again, I intuitively knew from my own spiritual experience that actually this is not a creation of God's infinite light. I have to be in the limited world. I have to be in separation from God. I have to be in this world of this and that for me to experience any kind of suffering or duality or this and that, or even perception, like I see a this and a that. And even for a me, independent of God's light to exist, it has to, that all has to have appeared somehow. And that infinite light has disappeared. So the whole world of being in a world, you know, in time, in relation to others, started you know the experience of that started after the white light so so i got exactly what the cancer i cancel my belief in illness uh more uh, more or i cancel my belief in the world or and i cancel my belief in all aspects of the world so so intuitively i knew that actually when you get close enough to god's love shall we say god's infinite light i think in the beginning there was just light and then the world appeared or seemed to appear. Uh, and then you could say, so I, I think there is a, what you could say is there is a place now of infinite light and there is a place now of a me and a world that exists. And they kind of both exist at this. They don't both, ex for me, let's say, because what am I? I sort of see myself as, if I, if I experience myself as a self, a limited self, a body or a thinking, or a mind, then I sort of see myself as a cloud. And I, you know, I go around saying I'm this cloud and other people say I'm that cloud. And I'm in a world where everyone believes they're a cloud talking to other clouds. Now, while there is this thing of identification with thoughts and bodies and a this and a that and time and future and past, all these clouds in what I call this collective illusion, which is like a lower level of experience are you know just drifting around like clouds relating to other clouds but every now and then one of these people one of these clouds uh does spiritual work and then all the clouds disappear and there's an infinite light and that you only, there is only infinite light no time 
no space, the world never existed. It's a place of so much light and love and power that duality cannot exist. So, and as I, I just share my experience, as I canceled all those illness, it took years. It was so heavy and the belief in them and the symptoms were so dense, but they all disappeared or they miraculously were removed from me. So I know it works, you know, anything I suffer, if I cancel it enough, it disappears from my experience. In fact, I have the power to disappear anything. I mean, obviously I prefer to disappear suffering from my life rather than uh, nice things, but all suffering, I know there is the power, there is a light that can disappear it. An infinite light, an infinite power, an infinite love that can disappear any, anything that I perceive as being of this world. And in fact, can disappear the whole world. So, so simultaneously, in, in a way, I'm paradoxically, I can't answer it properly. In paradoxically, for me right now, I could be an in infinite light or I could be in, in the world as I perceive it. My perception of the world is just related to how many belief systems and what I actually, you know, how dense, how many beliefs as a cloud do I have in relation to other clouds? Uh, do I even believe I'm a cloud and that other people are, are clouds in separation to me and that the world exists? So depending on how much I want to clear or disappear, I can, I can disappear it. So when I can't, for example, if I cancel my belief in asthma, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold him. I know it does, asthma does not exist in the infinite light of God. It cannot exist. It does not exist, not in, not in God's presence. So I, I'm happy to just cancel it into the light over and over again until I'm one with that which experiences, can never experience asthma. I'm happy to cancel my, my belief that I'm a cloud in relation to other clouds. I don't really need to hold on to that unless I want to. So um, now if I hold a belief in mind, it tends to materialize. So I do believe on a certain level, even though it's more mystical with karma and karmic permission, that if I said, you know, I hold in mind a Ferrari, it might come my way. But the laws of karma and spiritual principles are very complicated. So it's not that easy always to just suddenly imagine, you know, sit on, sit on my bed and just visualize a Ferrari and then feel good. And for that, sudden, that Ferrari to suddenly materialize in the, my perception of the world in duality. But mystical things are, are possible, even though if you're on a spiritual path, you know, uh, trying to um, uh, manifest a Ferrari is, is an interesting idea. Um, okay, I'll, sh I'll shut up on that one and uh, press stop recording. Where's the stop recording? Oh, here it is.